Hello everybody, Jordy here, Carving Fusion. Yesterday I kind of rushed this, I wish I didn't. So things I don't like about this carving, well, I'm not 100% I like his Elvis hair that you guys call, or Donald King. His nose is too big, but we got this knot here. So I think at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna make his nose smaller. Yep, so I'll show how I do that coming up. Okay, so you guys can see there the lines, <clears throat> excuse me, the lines that I got on for the, the nose. So I think I'm going to cut it uh, right here. We'll try that first. I think that's better. And we might have to recut in, cut in here and then reshape everything. Take this up higher. Move the bottom lip up higher. Okay. So cut then we'll see how it goes. I'll do step by step for this. This is how you fix a nose that's too long. And for this I'll use my little 140 battery saw. Okay. 140 with a steel car 12 inch steel carving bar with a 043 gauge chain. So let's get this nose fixed up. Okay, I'll get a pry bar and then we'll wedge those pieces out. Yeah, that's a lot better. So now I'll run around and uh, clean it all up. So I am happier with that. You know, I just want to let you guys know that I had to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to push myself to come and finish this today. You know, not it's not every day. It, sure, you're having fun and stuff like that, but sometimes you just need to push yourself. Sometimes you need that extra kick in the ass to get off the couch and go finish what you started. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around with my uh, Makita. Good thing I got that 800, the 800C bigger one. And I'm going to run around and clean up uh, the face. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling with this guy. I think his face is more proportionate now, more thinner. I gave him an open mouth there. Um, had a knot in this eyebrow, so I raised this eyebrow a bit. The left one there. See the knot? Super soft wood. So you just cut it out. That's what carve deeper means. See the wood just coming out of there. So, uh, this guy's looking like the mad scientist. Anyways, carry on. Okay, so I think the eyes are gonna make or break this guy. See if I can give him at least some decent eyes. Yep, carry on. Stage one complete.
Well, this guy already looks like he's seen something like, uh, I don't know, a wood spirit or a ghost or something, so might as well just keep going with it. Yep, stage two. See how good I can fuck these eyes up even more. You know, I'll be the first person to say I struggle with eyes. I know I could, I could probably, this one's pointed, I could probably make this one more pointy back here. Don't give a shit. The struggle's real. You know, if you're an artist and the, if you think you're an artist and you don't struggle, well, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta say fuck it and just, this guy's just, this guy's just right out of control. So, Eddie, over there at NorCal Succulents, I like the idea that you had with the hair to, to cut it up more, make some deeper cuts, mix it up some more. And down here, what am I gonna do with the beard? And I think on the outside, I think I want to do rocks. Got a full visual of this thing. Oh yeah, he's just freaked. You see, he's got no teeth. That's why his jaw goes way back. See his mouth? You know, when you got no teeth and your jaw goes back, that's what's up with this guy. Yeah, he's just freaked right out. Carry on, don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck! Jordy, you can't put a wood spirit in the wood spirit's hair. Well, why not? Why can't I? Well, that's not what everybody else does. Well, I don't want to be fucking everybody else. I want to carve what I want to fucking carve. Get the fuck out of my shop. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so this piece is still about six foot tall. I'm five and a half foot tall, so let's just say five and a half foot tall, six foot, whatever. I didn't want to take any of the top hair off because this was such a valuable piece of wood for me to carve. The first growth western red cedar. I still got the other half of the log out there. And I'm going to be carving a wizard holding a staff on that. This carving, I think, is um, probably the hardest one I've done because I, I just wanted this face to look on scale, but I started getting pissed off and frustrated. That's when I blasted this one off, and then I had more fun carving this one. I had the most fun carving this. I did this in like 15 minutes, just quickly carved it and put it in there. And I think this is my favorite one. I'll show you guys a close-up of it a bit. But you know, so I think really what I was trying to say is just try and be your own artist. Like, you know, um, how can I explain? Like those famous guys that are million, hundred thousands of years old, that are the painters, Da Vinci or whatever their names are. They didn't care what anybody else was doing. They just focused on what they were doing. So I don't ever expect to be a famous artist. I'm not a good enough wood carver. I don't think I'll ever be, but I don't care. I just enjoy what I'm doing and what, what, makes, what makes me have a good time, you know? This thing, I wasn't having any, a good time. I'm going to be completely honest, my buddy Stu came by here, and I'm definitely not blaming on him, but he said, I don't know if you guys can see this one back here, he said he likes my slimmer faces, squid spirit faces, and um, before I started carving this, so I took that to thought, and I said, yeah, he's right, actually, my skinnier, more whimsical ones, but then so I was trying to, I don't know, it just kind of, it just kind of fucked my, my thinking up, and, I should have just stopped and taken half an hour, went to get a coffee or something, and, and restarted. Started the process. So I'm not blaming it still, but the 
his saying that to me when I was in full concentration of the carving kind of put a put a block into what I was doing. But this guy turned out all right. I still got all here to carve. This is still open field. What do you guys think? I'd love to read in the comments. Should I carve bricks or should I carve some more wood spirits along like here along the bottom along this side? Um, oh, yeah. I brought this thing because this is a, a Shosugi Ban thing I did a while ago. And I just think it's too bright. I had it hanging on my fence. So I'm just going to burn the hell out of this and hit it with the sander. And hopefully it won't be so bright. More wood color. You'll see some green color and some red color. But, yeah, it's just way too bright. I just think it's ugly as fuck. So, anyways, let's do a time-lapse burn in this before this video gets too long. Yeah. I just want to show you guys. Uh, sorry if my mic's not working. This guy in here. I like him. This guy's eyes aren't perfect and this guy here looks like an old kind of Japanese kind of whatever carry on okay so that's uh that's a wrap for this one. Uh, I'm going home to have a hot bath. I bet you the bathtub's gonna be black when I get out. It's gonna have a black ring around the edge. So there's this anyways. Not so friggin' bright anymore. Yep, that's it. That's all. Have a happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> happy Monday, hi Liz.